Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we are going to be reading through the update notice to check out the changes and contents coming to the game tomorrow. Of course, we already know about changes to the stamina system. We already know about contents coming to the game, such as the Halloween event. But on top of all of that, we need to check out if there are any changes to, for example, the raid battle, because while they have acknowledged the overall game feedback survey, they didn't talk about the raid feedback that we gave them. And of course, if they've already done changes to the overall game because of that overall game survey, I'm curious to see if they've made any changes to the raid battle because of that survey that they dropped alongside the preseason of the United Final Battle, or as it's actually known in the community as the raid battle. So of course, if you guys go on to enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more Dan Machi and Dan Machi Battle Chronicle content, and let me know your thoughts on the updates down below in the comment section. Of course, I would urge you guys to watch the entirety of this video to let me know what you guys think because there might be something that you guys didn't notice that I noticed and there might be some things you guys noticed that I didn't notice. So of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and of course mention anything that I might have missed out on in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Now, the reason why I'm focusing so much on the raid battle because I really want to see some changes to the raid battle because to be quite honest, the preseason while the first time rewards were great right because when you did the raid battle on each difficulty for the very first time you'd get selah's rewards basically so i think if you did it on normal difficulty you'd get 300 selah's for the first clear you'd get 400 selah's for the clear on hard and then on very hard you'd get 500 selah's so for a total of 1200 selah's it wasn't bad at all right the problem was that beyond that there was no reason to do the raid battle ever again because the rewards for doing it again and again and again were basically some exilia literally just a teeny tiny amount of exilia and it wasn't even memory exilia as well it wasn't just you know it wasn't just exilia and memory exilia no it was just exilia so the replayability in that was pretty much nil the preseason was so 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 bad in terms of replayability the game mode itself is super fun don't get me wrong you know hosting raids on live streams and stuff like that was super fun but the problem was that i just didn't want to replay it again and again and again and i tried doing it a couple of times i think you know if you check with people who watch the live streams you know i tried doing the raids every single day for like three or four days i think it was maybe even five days nearly a week right but it just didn't happen beyond that because I just could not bring myself to get people to play this game first and foremost because obviously or this game mode I should say. Um, I'd hope people play the game because I'm playing the game. But uh, I could not bring myself to get people to play the game mode because there was no incentive for them to do so or and waste effectively three or four minutes for like five exilia right it didn't make any sense so they needed to bring massive changes to the first season of the raid battles and i'm really hoping that they did so let's check out the notice and let's check out the update notice and see what exactly is coming in tomorrow's update Thank you for continuously enjoying Battle Chronicle. Data will be updated during the following schedule. If you're logged in during the update, the screen will go back to the title page in order to update the latest data. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your cooperation. So the data update schedule is going to happen on the 24th of October at 12 p.m. GST, which is 4 a.m. British Summertime and 11 p.m. the previous day, basically 11 p.m. 23rd of October, east coast time so that'll be on the eastern coast that'll be 11 p.m basically for you guys in america now i don't know if there's going to be a maintenance for this it does seem like it's just a data update that they're doing which is very very good no maintenance is an absolute w which allows players by the way it allows players to be able to get a little bit more time to do the free single on this banner of course right because this banner leaves just as the data update will happen right but if there's a maintenance, technically it'll leave way before then, five hours before that, because usually maintenance in Danmachi Battle Chronicle is five hours. They haven't mentioned anything about a maintenance yet. If they do, I'll let you guys know in the comment section down below, but there is no sign of a maintenance just yet. They have titled this as a maintenance, so we'll see, we'll see. But at least we know that the data update will happen at the usual time of 4 a.m. British summertime or as it says right here, 12 p.m. JST, of course, right? 
So let's take a look at the planned update content. So Pumpkin Fialti's event is now live, so that's the Halloween event. Black Cat Witch Ryu and Pumpkin with Seer new arrival, two times rate up gacha is also live as well. So that is of course this banner right here. Um, Seer and Ryu along with the three new scene cards that we've seen already before. Um, obviously two of them are based on poison if I'm not mistaken or something like that. I think one is endurance, the other one is if I recall correctly if you are poisoned uh, you or if the enemy is poisoned I should say you get HP back as well. And then the third scene card, I actually don't remember. Let me just quickly have a look and see again, because I actually don't remember what that scene card does exactly, to be quite honest. But let me have a look and check once again. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that scene card is when the enemy is poisoned, it reduces the special attack cost of the unit. So yeah, those are your scene cards that are part of the gacha. In my opinion, um, None of them are excellent. I think the free-to-play one as well as the uh, uh, the actual battle pass scene card is a bit better to be quite honest. The battle pass scene card increases earth attack damage and of course the uh, free-to-play scene card actually increases critical rate if the enemy is poisoned because the endurance one is great but if that's only if you have tione or gareth in my personal opinion if you're running a tank yes that first one is great the second one which reduces the special attack cost of the uh, of the unit when the enemy is poisoned is great but again you need the enemy to be poisoned which the only character that gives poison at this moment in time in the game is that ryu that's available on the gacha itself and of course, I assume the Cassandra and Daphne that are going to be coming up in about a week or two's time. Though Those units will also inflict poison as well. But for now, Imo, it's not that great. And then the third scene card is decent. But again, you require the enemy to be poisoned as well. So it becomes a little bit more problematic there, in all honesty. Now, when it says two times rate up gacha, it means that there are two units that are rate up, basically. It's not double rates. Some people get very confused about that because of the way it's phrased, but what they mean is it's a double rate up gacha banner basically, right? So you have Seer that's rate up and Ryu that's rate up as well. So keep that in mind basically, right? Um, but yeah, th that's the banner that's going to be coming out. Very cool. I might chuck a multi on it. I don't think I'm going to do any more than that. And thankfully, of course, with the... Um, uh, with the Selahs that we're going to get from the event ranking, which big ups to Kairos, by the way, we're ranked 27. Uh, we should be getting the top 100 rewards, so 3,000 Selahs and 3 uh, Awakening Bonds. So thumbs up there, helps out tremendously, of course, right? But yeah, that's obviously what's going to be coming out tomorrow in terms of the event and gacha. The two-month celebration campaign will also go live as well. I love the fact that they're doing these celebration campaigns. Um, I assume that means we're going to get a login bonus and maybe some form of like packs, basically, I assume. I don't see us getting any sort of gacha or something. Maybe paid gachas. They might do the same thing that they did for the one month where they dropped a couple of paid gachas, right? Again, if you are a spending player, feel free to go and spend on it. There's no real rhyme or reason for you not to do it because it's a guaranteed you are. But it's up to you guys to do it or if you want to. I'm not going to stop you guys from doing it. Of course, if you are not a spending player or if you're a minor spending player... Be a bit cautious on whether or not you want to summon on that banner, on the paid banners, if they do come, of course, right? Because they might feature units that you already have or you already have dupes for and you don't want extra copies of them. Because at the end of the day, it's the luck of the draw. It's not a guaranteed, you know, you're going to get a new eyes or you're going to get, uh, you know, your first copy of eyes, that is, of course. Or you're going to get your first copy of Lily, for example, or something like that, right? It's not guaranteed. So keep that in mind. United Final Battle official release to the first season of the Raid Battles will also be coming. Um, Thousand Elf Lafia Raid Up Gacha will also now be live. So, of course, they're going to be promoting the yellow units primarily um, in the upcoming weeks. The yellow, uh, you know, uh, uh, non-time limited units will be Raid Up. So, you'll see Lafia be Raid Up. I think Lily or Loki might be Raid Up. You'll see potentially Gareth be Raid Up. Wiene be Raid Up. So... Keep that in mind, of course, that these units will also be raid up. Out of those non-time limited units, I would say the main unit that you should probably target to potentially get is probably Lily, to be quite honest. Lily is really, really good as an assist, in all honesty, so keep that in mind. Um, limited time Earth training pack now available in shop. Season 6 of Battle Arena is confirmed, so that'll be coming out, of course. I mean, what a shocker. Season 6 of Battle Arena will be coming. I mean, that should be coming out. Uh, when the season ends on the 29th of uh, October, basically. So yeah, um, this will end and uh, be done with, basically. So yeah, that's that's all well and good. We kind of already expected that. All right, so let's take a look at the topics. Um, 
Event Pumpkin FELT is now live. A new Halloween themed event is scheduled to take place. Ryu and the Seer will appear as new characters in special costumes. Various event exclusive items will be introduced, so stay tuned for more. Of course, there should be a new battle item, of course, for this upcoming event. There will also be, of course, the uh, scene card that will be given out for free via playing the game, most likely. I don't think there will be a login scene card, right? But yeah, that's gonna be really, really good. Two months celebration campaign is also now live. Town Crew has reached two months since its release. We will hold a special campaign to celebrate this occasion. Don't miss out on this as well. You know what would be nice if they do it uh, here again for the two months? They did it for the one month, right? Is giving us another UR ticket. Why not? Just give us another UR ticket for the two months and we'll be happy there to be quite honest. All right, United Final Battle official release. Now, this is going to be very interesting. With the official launch of United Final Battle, we plan to add and adjust some features. Addition of a feature to display a damage report that shows the total amount of damage dealt after a quest is completed. Thumbs up there. So you can see which players have done the most amount of damage, which is excellent. Addition of exchange. Thumbs up there. More replayability and cumulative raid point rewards. Yes, this is literally what we wanted to see from the raid battle. Replayability. And they've actually done it. Unbelievable stuff. Honestly, I'm very impressed. Over the last two days, I've just been super impressed by the developers for actively actually wanting to make changes, you know? For the last month, a lot of people have been super pessimistic about the game because everybody's like, they're not making any changes. They're just carrying on, you know, without noticing anything, to be quite honest, which was really frustrating. Not only for, you know, players that were wanting to, you know, see the game improve, but for myself and some other people as well who actually were, you know, trying to be as optimistic as possible. But, you know, with all this negativity, you tend to get that pessimism going. But over the last two days, I must say, they've shown that they are willing to make changes. The, pro the problem and the question, I should say, is that they shouldn't just stop here. They should be wanting to do more and more and more over the coming months and weeks and years maybe even i should say right i wanted to say weeks months and years but i said months weeks and years it's kind of weird there but basically they should be wanting to do it for the longer term not just now and you know you know uh, you know wash their hands away with saying that okay we've done the majority of what we wanted to do that's about it that's all you're gonna get no this should be an ever improving system there should be something that you know they keep working on consistently because that's the way you're going to retain players is by making sure that you are able to understand what the players want and are able to uh, give the players what they want for the most part of course it has to be within reason because at the end of the day right it, you can't expect them to make super overhauling changes like a lot of people were saying like oh they should be making changes to the banner and i'm like Yes, but no. I think there are some changes that can be introduced to the banner system, but for the most part, they're not going to actively change the banner because that's their money maker at the end of the day, right? And there are ways for them to improve their revenue by also introducing stuff like what I said yesterday, right? Giving us a sort of like a 5 to 10 multi-pity, but it's a random unit, right? Things like that can help them out tremendously. But again, those are minor changes that they're going to do. They're not going to do overhauling changes like increased rates, you know, potentially lower the cost of a multi. I don't see that happening as well, unfortunately. But there are ways to appease the player base without also, you know, going down the wrong route potentially for them. That is, of course, right? So yeah, W change here. Very, very excited to see how this is going to work. And I'm very excited about the fact that raids are finally replayable. I cannot wait to stream this tomorrow, honestly. It's going to be so, so good. All right, let's take a look at the planned adjustment content. So... Adjustments to stamina recovery time and stamina cap. The stamina recovery rate will be faster than before, so they said that it'll go from 10 minutes to 5 minutes. The stamina cap will also be increased compared to the current value. So right now, I'm at 139. I expect it to be doubled. I'd assume it would be doubled, right? What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. Will it be doubled? Will it be increased by 50? I'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below. Adjustments to the effects of certain items. We have adjusted the stamina recovery items to provide more stamina recovery. Stamina recovery item in adjustments include Potato Popper, LMS, and Selas. Due to the uh, adjustments mentioned above, we kindly ask you to use the applicable items as much as possible after the updates. Okay, that's kind of a weird way of saying it, but don't worry, we will be using it. Uh, daily quests are adjusted to allow the skip function for an easier clear. Thumbs up there. No need to do this uh, daily quest again and again and again. Um, and, you know, go into the fight, do the fight, get back out and all that jazz. We can just click the skip button and move on from there, basically, which is a thumbs up. Certain issue fix fixes and certain text corrections. But there you guys go. 
that's pretty much all that is there for tomorrow's update um a, a lot of the other changes that are going to be coming like the speed uh speed and um you know support roll buffs and everything that'll be in the second half of november so keep that in mind a lot of the changes that they mentioned in yesterday's live stream are scheduled to happen over a period of time not necessarily all of it will be in tomorrow's update right so uh, stuff like the AI auto battle adjustments, you know, or improvements, the ability to character switch, use battle items and stuff as in the auto battle. That'll be in the second half of November. The completion rewards for battle missions, second half of November. Buffing speed and support roles, second half of November. And then, of course, on top of that, the, um, you know, changes coming to Magic Stone Scramble, the cheating anti-measures and stuff. They said that it'll be by the end of the year. So that'll probably be in December, most likely. So keep that in mind. They're also improving familiars and stuff like that. The enhancement quests and stuff that, you know, they mentioned as well. That'll be in November as well. I think it's in the grand schedule, right? They said, uh, yeah, weekday dungeon and addition of new content. That'll be in November. So keep that in mind that a lot of the changes are going to be and uh, content additions will be over a period of time. Not everything is tomorrow. But to be quite honest, tomorrow's update notice is very impressive. The raid battles having more replayability and also the stamina recovery time and everything coming tomorrow thumbs up from my end but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below hopefully you guys like the updates that are coming already to the game i'm very very excited to be covering this game now honestly the motivation has been kind of reinvigorated you know and uh, i'm very excited let me know what you guys think though in the comment section below of course if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one take it easy everybody